Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through all the books that I bought in 2023 and seeing how many of them I actually read because mm, I did manage to read a fair few books this year. Um, I read, well, the year's not over yet. It is the 22nd and I've still got books on the go, but I'm on 46, I've read 46 books so far this year. I'm hoping to have maybe reached 50 by the end. We'll see if that happens or not. You'll have to wait till my what I read in 2023, which should come the start of next year, I think, maybe the end. I think it's the start of next year, probably. But yeah, oh, then look at my nails. I don't know if you can probably see them. They're white with like a little blue heart on them. I'm actually obsessed with them. They're actually beautiful. Um, I've got the whole list here. Um, so I can tell you that I've read, thir uh, no, I've bought, thir I've bought 33 and I've read 13 of them. So we're gonna go through the, all the 33 and I'm gonna tell you which 13 of them I've read and which ones I haven't read. So let's just get into it because I don't wanna make this intro too long. Let's just get straight into going through these books because it makes me, oh. I think this is just every reader's problem that they buy books and don't end up reading them like straight away, which I'm gonna try and sort out in 2024 um because it's becoming a problem i just buy books and then i'm like i'm gonna read that and then i buy another book and i'm like oh, i'll read that and then i read that one or i'll like i'm gonna buy this one and then i'll buy three books and then there'll be one on my shelf that i'm like oh i'm gonna read that one now like you you've been sat there two years but oh well i'm gonna read you now do you know what i mean so yeah i'm gonna we're just gonna get into it before i start rambling again okay so there's gonna be no particular order to this i'm just gonna grab the ones that are closest to me and work my way over to my bookshelf um so i've got one two three four five i've got eight here i actually don't think i ever did a haul on these been slacking on youtube for an, hoping to pick it up well i've got some videos planned for now until the end of the year then some planned for the new year and then i'm going to start trying to post regular hopefully we hope and pray but do i say that every time i post yeah but are we going to try and make it a thing from now yeah we actually are i actually am right okay anyway let's just go through them so heartless we're starting off strong because i have read this one i gave it for 4.75 stars um i didn't read it as a physical book though i did read it on kindle first and then bought the book for a reason obviously i can get to in a minute um, but again, Heartless, five stars. Yeah, obviously read this one. Otherwise, how to write it. Um, again, read on Kindle. And then I got Powerless, which is, I get 4.75 stars. And again, read on Kindle. Reckless is the first one in the have not read pile. And this is where it goes downhill in this first bunch because the housemaid have not read practice makes perfect have not read yours truly have not read part of your world have not read so we started off strong with three back-to-back -back reads and then we went downhill with five not reads so you know so now i've got 10 books left that i will have read but um anyway yeah, so I read these all on Kindle, and then I got, which ones did I go? Oh, let me just do them everywhere. Then I got these in the three for six pound at the works. My voice sounded well weird then. Uh, three for six pound at the works. So I bought them because I wanted them in physical because I love this series so much. But I just obviously need to finish it. Um, so yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll buy them because I, I like to have the physical book even if i read on my kindle um so yeah so i've got these ones to go and then I, this was in the two for, uh, three for two pound hello this was in the three for six pound but i didn't get it in the three for six pound because when i went because i went to pick them up from the works these this you know the books uh, I went to pick them up as a click and collect sort of thing. When you do that, you get 10% off any book in the three six pound section. They used to do it on all the books, but now they don't, which is kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, I ended up picking up this one. 
because uh, I did want to buy this one uh, because I'd never seen this one in store so I didn't know they did it until this one wasn't on the thing and then I saw this one I was like oh so I ordered that within that anyway not the point and then I also thought yeah I'll treat myself even though that was technically treating myself but I thought that is because I'm not wasting 10% off of anything do you know what I mean can't waste 10% off because then otherwise I would have bought this book anyway at some point so why not get 10% off it now? And then I'm saving money for future me, you know? And then I've got this one, which kind of defeated the point, but that's fine. Okay, so I actually kind of forgot about these ones, even though these are the ones I'm reading right now, but I don't know. I don't know how I actually forgot them because they're literally next to my bed. Anyway, um, so I've got Wildfire. I'm currently reading it. Um, 87 pages in. I am doing a reader vlog on this and this next one, which is The Long Game. Uh, yeah, I'm doing reading vlogs on both of them for like, just mixed into one video. Um, I've read a chapter of this one, so yeah. So technically not read, but that's fine. They are, I'm enjoying them so far though. And then this is another one that I have started. I haven't finished yet, obviously. But it's Is There Time For A Winner, which is Sheffield Wednesday's 2022-23 promotion miracle. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love this, love this series. Like, this series? <laughs> love this season. I did. But it, it's just, it's literally about last season and I want to read about that to bring me happiness. But yeah, reading this one, haven't read it, so it's going in my... I haven't read pile of books that I bought this year. <sighs> I am really enjoying Wildfire though. And I read and read a chapter of the long game, but the chapter I read was good. So, well, it was all right. It was, it was entertaining. No, entertaining, no, that's the right word. Like, it was gripping, intriguing. I don't know. I don't know my words. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so this next part, it's looking great. It's looking great because I've read all of these ones uh, because these are the ones that are uh, like on top of the thing next to my bed it's not bedside table it's like a box cabinet -y thing I don't really know how to explain it um, but I have these books on top with some other books because these are like some of my favorite books ever so these are all five star these are this one is this one is with these ones that one is that one is yeah these are all five stars like that's why they're all on there some of my favorite books of like oh certain ones of these as well might as well just get into them now we'll just stop rambling emma come on get with it right so the whole magnolia park series so far five stars every single one of them i read them all loved them all still breaks my heart just thinking about it i think about this series every minute like honestly at least five times a day at least five times a day um i love it so much i've done a whole video on this book this book series a whole video the next one comes out next year and i will be doing a reading vlog on it maybe it might not be a great reading vlog because i will be trying to speed through it to find out what's going on but i just look oh <laughs> I've spoke about this series so much, I think, this year, like on here, when I've posted, I think I've spoke about these. Um, I just love them so much. This, this one, this is the Daisy Hates Great Undoing. Well, it's called Daisy Hates Great Undoing, but I was gonna say this is the Daisy Hates book. This is Daisy Hates Great Undoing. This is Daisy Hates. Anyway, um, specifically these two, Magnolia Parks Along Way Home and Daisy Hates Great Undoing just quite literally no words quite literally no words um yeah i actually forgot what i was gonna say to be honest but i have read them all oh that was it remembered now um yeah so i have got the other covers which i can't move to get up right now so when i move these ones and get the other books i'll grab them then but i have got the new covers uh because I got these obviously before the new covers came out but I wanted the new covers so I could annotate them because I didn't annotate these because 
again i actually read these three on my kindle because they're on kindle unlimited i don't know if they're still on there they might be if they are and you've got kindle unlimited read them this one's also on there but i actually bought this one at the start of the year and read it which is why then i saw that these are on kindle unlimited and i read them very very quickly let's just say that um so yeah but i did buy the new covers so i could annotate them because i i i I just love the covers of these so much. It sounds so weird, right? But I love the covers of these so much that I don't want to ruin anything on the inside of them. I just want them to look, like, beautiful like they are. Do you know what I mean? Don't know. Um, but I got them ones to highlight in and that. So, yeah. I've spoke for three minutes about these books now. And I literally have other books to go through. But once you get me talking about that, I could actually talk about that series for ever like quite literally forever anyway moving on moving on moving on uh we have the goal um i gave this five stars again like i said i give them all five stars but um i literally love this one like it wasn't my favorite out of the series but it still was five star worthy do you know what i mean i just loved it tucker and sabrina she's called sabrina isn't she yeah i was gonna say i thought she was um love her what a queen what a little icon and tucker so cute it's adorable uh better than the movies i literally read this in a day like quite literally read this in a day it was oh, this is again one of my favorite books of the year like i think about this book all the time again like i don't oh, i don't know like just i think it's because i read it so quick as i well. like i think i read a couple chapters like the day before and then i just sat and read the whole book the next day it was just everything like it's such a little like it's basically a rom-com but like i'm picturing it in my head do you know what i mean like i'm it's like i'm reading the script of a rom-com and it's playing in my head it was incredible like every second of it had me giggling and kicking my feet because oh it was so cute um then i have love in other words again five star literally love this one it happens in like stuff happens in it that i just didn't actually expect to happen and also in my head it was was it this no it was this book that i'm about to talk about that was did off so yeah it was this book that i was thinking about that it was not exactly not at all how i expected it i thought it was like childhood friends to lovers like a high school I don't know, like, the whole... I thought this was set in high school. It's, it's not. Um, but it was incredible. Like, oh, I understand the hype around this book. It was beautiful. I cried at a certain part. It's honestly so beautiful. Um, so, yeah. The thing is, I am now end up going into a fucking review on everything, which is not what we're trying to do. I'm just saying which ones I've read and which ones I've not read. So, I started off really quick with this and I was like, flawless, heartless, reckless, no, powerless, haven't read reckless, <laughs> oops. Um, I'm flying through them in the next minute. Beca it's because these are literally my favourite books ever. Like, this is why they're next to my bed, like, they're my favourite books. Anyway, right, Emma, stop rambling, my god. Right, final offer, five stars, read this book, really enjoyed, love Cal, loved him throughout the books already. So, so excited for his and it came through, loved him right let's carry on because i'm rum okay so the next set right so these are the new magnolia parks covers i really love them i think they're beautiful i just call it magnolia parks because it's the magnolia parks universe so it just makes it easier than going magnolia park and baby h i mean but yeah love them beautiful covers um i understand why people don't like them because they do but they to me they give like you know the gossip girl book I haven't read them and I'm probably not gonna because it's not how the, the series is and the series is literally my favourite thing I don't want to ever tarnish that, do you know what I mean? Um, but I quite like them. I feel like they give... I don't know. There's something about them I quite like. Like, I didn't at first and then now I've kind of grown to them. Anyway, um, another one I'm including, but I didn't buy this, but I did get gifted this by... What's the thing called? Simon and... Simon and Huster? Shuster? that i'll just write it here it's the uh publishing company for no, it's the publishing company and they published um becca max um 
It's called Considerate, but what's it called? Playing for Keeps, Playing for Keeps. Is it Playing for Keeps or is the, or is the next book Playing for Keeps? No, it's the Playing for Keeps because the next book plays me. Um, yes, yeah, so I read this at the start of the year. So I thought I'd include it because I did give this... Yeah, so I gave this four and a half stars. I really loved it. It was really good. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd include that because... Yeah, technically I didn't buy it, but I got to it next year. And I've included ones like The Goal and Better Than The Movies I did get for my birthday. So I didn't buy them either. But so I thought I'd include it. I'm very grateful. This is my first book I've ever been gifted. And it was a book that I actually have read and have enjoyed. So that's very nice of them. Um, yeah, moving on. Um, Say Swear, haven't read. We was planning on reading it on Kindle Unlimited, to be fair, for a while. Then they had it in the works for three pound. I thought, oh, I'll buy it. Still haven't read it. So, I do really plan on it, though. I do really plan on it. Like, I promise. Then we've got Powerless. Again, at... Ooh, that was a good connection. <gasps> wow. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, Powerless. Another one that I really plan on reading. Um, I've been wanting to read it recently. I've, I've been in a reading slump, I think. I don't know how I've said since, like, July. And I've slowly been reading. Like, I've been carrying on. But also, I started uni this year, so I've been doing work for that. And, like, the thought of reading when I knew I had work to do, but I wasn't doing either of them, is something I'm trying to work on. I've been trying to work on it my whole... Well, say my whole life. I'm Well, technically, my whole life is in, like, the work situation, like... Not the point, not what we're talking about, but mainly for reading. Like, I physically can't read now and I have work to do, but I can't do the work yet because in my head I don't need to do the work yet. Do you know what I mean? So it's a whole, it's quite like a toxic like cycle because I'm not getting anything done then, do you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, bought this this year. Really excited to read this. Everyone says good things about it. I've seen loads of people talk about it. Well, not loads of people, but I've seen like a couple people talk about it. So then I thought, oh, I'll pick that up. And then next minute I picked it up and I had to see it. Just, all the videos I kept getting was about it. And I thought, that's quite weird that I've literally just bought it now. Anyway, um, yeah, very excited to read it. I'm hoping to get this one read in the new year because it is a fantasy book. And I haven't read a fantasy book and I want to read fantasy books. Anyway, right, I'm really dragging this on. It's literally just a video of me showing you what books I bought and which, which ones I have and haven't read. It's not an explanation video. Anyway, fourth wing. Yeah, again, same reason as this one, except I, this one was like really, really popular on TikTok when I bought it. Um, want to read it, want to get into fantasy. Yeah, Heartbounds, was, it was on offer for £4 in the works and I was like, I really want, I was going to wait for the paperback because I've been wanting to read this one for ages, like years. Um, but I could never, like, the paperback was always really expensive. Do you know the, like, white-covered one was, like, had, like, pink on it, I think, and, like, orange and stuff? Um, so I was like, oh, I don't want to spend that much on it. Um, then it came out in hardback, and I was like, I'll wait for the paperback. Then the hardback was £4, and I thought, why not? We'll get it. Um, yeah. Right, moving on to the next ones. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the next ones... Um, Icebreaker. I have read this. Five stars. Really enjoyed it. Oh, what have I done? What did I add here? Oh, okay. Well done. I just got a list and I thought I'd ruin the list. Well, uh, that, that was going to stress me. Anyway, no, we're all good. Right. Icebreaker. Five stars. Loved it. Really good. Um, the next is I guess disappointing again. Um, I bought the whole Shatami series, but it's technically not the whole Shatami series because there's like the novellas and like the other book thing. Yeah. Have I read a single one? Absolutely not. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Twisted Hate. No, I haven't read it yet. Oh, yeah. I bought it and I, I bought Twisted Love, Twisted Games and Twisted Lies last year. And then I bought this one this year. Because um, this is the one that I wanted to read the most. Twisted Games, everyone, I, I've seen loads of like, bad things about it, so I thought, oh, it's just like a filler book, not loads of bad things about it, but just nothing like exciting about it, to be fair, so I thought, oh, it's just a filler book, was I wrong, one of the best books I've read this year, absolutely loved it, and I just haven't gone back into the series yet, but I want to for this, because I'm excited, so, yeah, right, I don't know how many more I've got left, to be fair, no, I think, I think I've got a few, Gotta get up again now, right? On to the next. 
Okay, so on to the final six books. This is exciting. <laughs> right. <gasps> oh, my nail. Well, it won't even be a nail. Look at my finger. It's like got a cut on it here and I just proper slammed the book down. Anyway. Right. <sighs> this is a sad way to end the video though. Because I haven't read any of them. Anyway. Things I never got over. Maggie moves on. Get a life, Chloe Brown. How to fake it in Hollywood. My Kill Vacation and Fix Her Up. I haven't read any of them. I haven't read them yet. But I really plan on it. I actually do. Especially this one. Everyone says good things about this one. And I'm really excited to read this. I just haven't got around to it yet. I think it's... The thing is, you know, I say it's because of the size of it. Like, in my head, it's what... It's 483 pages. I'm like, in my head, that's massive. But then, also, I have read big books as well this year. So, I mean, you know, time perspective. It's really not. It's just, I don't know. I actually don't know, to be honest. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, some comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in another video, hopefully soon. <laughs>